Hello, my fellow Rome 2 players! The Rip here with cracking voice and Russian brains. Hello! Hello! And we are actually in the finals of big Rome 2 tournament. Brothers 1v1, Tournoi de France, or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly it's called. I'm not sure what rules it's... there are. Tournoi but, yeah, one, we... 1v1, Rome 2 yeah. French, something. <laughs> And we were asked uh, to cast the finals, which are played by Templar Murat and uh, Templar Luchiban. And obviously, I don't think we can qualify for good Rome 2 casters yeah. because we don't <laughs> understand the game particularly well. But we will try to do our best. So it's Parse against Seleucids. And let's take a look at Parse, which starts with mercenary Harmatian, Sarmatian horse and Parsian horse archers on the right flank and already uses some uh, flaming arrows on these uh, armored elephants. Obviously, uh, meaningful way yeah. to put pressure on enemy elephant and to keep it away from flanking, to stop it from flanking around you. Then the main force of Parsia consists of, uh, I think, two eastern cataphracts, two more eastern cataphracts, so two on each flank. Then there is eastern spearman uh, and Persian hoplites on the front. Parsian foot archers behind them, second line. Then there is royal cataphracts as, as a gen, and let's take a look at this cavalry oh, engagement. Yeah, there's the engagement. But this is so gonna Median go. Ca yeah, I think uh, Luchiban's got this engagement. For now. Yeah, but look how yeah. Luchiban throws away three cavalry units, three uh, melee cavalry units, stopped by one cataphract. It's never good. Yeah. And you see how much pressure already put on these elephants, but they will connect. Oh, yes. Oh, and let's take a look at this. They're Fiat gonna... armored elephants. Yeah, the, that... Destroy. <laughs> that part of the army is basically gone right now. That was a good yeah. move by uh, uh, Mirad, but now his elephants are running amok. Yeah, uh, by the way, by his uh, peltas of his own Sorok swordsman, from what I noticed. But I don't think this was particularly expensive part of an army. But at the same time, on the other side, melee forces of uh, Murat connecting. But here comes all the, uh, own Indian war elephants of Luchiban. Oh wait, yeah, old Luchiban. Yeah, I'm a bit Is confused. doing some damage too. <laughs> uh, as to what's going on, I'm not sure exactly who's winning. I can say probably Murat on the right, and. Uh, yeah, Luchiban is gonna win his uh, right. Well, hmm. but now we can see that Eastern Cataphracts of Luchiban will get into these uh, Arches of Murat. And overall, in the long run, if we look about at, at it, it will depend on Luchiban's elephant. Because... Oh, oh no, the Cataphracts... Of... They're not going for Cata the archers. <laughs> now they are. If okay. do. Yeah. Hmm. Nice rear charge. Which completely stopping charge. This is a bit strange. I, I would expect them to pierce through, but whatever. So the, it, it comes to two elephants again. <laughs> uh, there is some skirmishing advantage for Luchiban because his uh, horse archers will stay uh, obviously longer than uh, foot uh, archers. And let's see if elephants of uh, Luchiban can do any significant damage because they got stuck. It seems. Yeah, now they're stuck. But they're still gonna get kills. Whoa. Yeah, but will it be enough? The que because in the end it will... Yeah. Not Murat much has support. More... Murat have more infantry? Oh, but they're routed. Yeah, the, it's th the scare part is really... Is really devastating. They can route units so fast. I actually mm. think uh, the game goes for Luchiban. Look, if he manages... Oh no, his elephants start to die, but... If Luchiban manages to kill these two remaining Sorok swordsmen, uh, his whole such will probably wear down these armored elephants. And he has yeah. advantage in cavalry and skirmishes. So I would wait for him, but I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I think probably Luchiban too. But we'll just have to wait. Because he's got, yeah, yeah scav advantage. But and Murat didn't lose a single elephant yet. <laughs> That's yeah. another thing. And if he wins with a single unit of elephants, 
I done just this game. Mm. So let's take a look at uh, some close looks. Uh, actually, this game looks fairly well if you can find a nice shot. Just look at these elephants getting into royal cataphracts. Our eastern cataphracts here, general is royal. Uh. And still not dying at all. Look, they're still no. not dying. <laughs> General counter charged by Azat Knights. Azat Knights should go down fairly fast. But let's take a look at Elephant of Luchiban now. Yeah. They got stuck and actually dying. I off. think he's killing them because of the missiles. <laughs> ah, by his own missiles. Yeah. Well, they also, instead of piercing through, with Elephant you expected to constantly keep pulling through enemy yeah. forces. He still got so, around 300 kills. Though. Yeah, very nice. I would say that exactly to make them cost effective, he actually got more kills than Elephants of Murat yet. Yeah. But Murat have 18 out of 18. This guy is still alive. <laughs> Look at him. This elephant, rather. Last one. Not getting any kills, uh. though. Yeah, he's and down. And it's down. <laughs> hmm. Bit not enough dynamic, I should say, compared look. to Shogun. To and look how ridiculous it is. Royal cataphracts actually cannot run away from yeah. elephants. Well, elephants. I wouldn't say ridiculous, but they get still a bit strange. I think they get some pretty big charge bonus uh, speed, but now On they the might die. Yeah. To yeah. Horse archers. Mm, we we can see that Pars and Horse are just using heavy shot uh, just by uh, the fact that they have 100 range. Yeah. So that heavy shot finally starting to do some damage. Two elephants down. Now they should start dropping. Yeah, but it took so it long. Mean <laughs> it still doesn't mean Luchiban won just because Luchiban couldn't use his elephants to completely rout the Sorg swordsman. Hmm. But he have he still have a chance, which goes as follows: if he can kill uh, the gen and charge after that, he will get a good chance. But he's charging, I think, a bit too early. Hmm. So elephant dying. Let's see if general can do anything. Actually, that he pulled out quite nicely there after the charge. Hmm. Yeah, as at night. Decimated in this and charge. And the elephant is dead. Or yeah. Mira. So, so we have uh, three depleted Sorok swordsmen against two cataphracts and uh, mercenary Sarmatian horse archers, which have no ammunition left. Yeah. This I is think game. cataphracts can do it. Yeah. Uh, he's got too much. <laughs> They're gonna be. Oh, but oh that Pila. here. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know, it's just too difficult for us to read. I didn't play such a close games at all myself, I don't have enough experience in Rome. But the fact that these Surak Swordsmen are separated obviously plays its role here. Uh, and I don't know hmm. why the game it went as it did, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not sure yeah, what well, happened I, here. I guess there were less targets for elephants of Murat than for elephants of Luchiban. In that mm. we will probably see that Luchiban got uh, more kills on his elephants. Yeah. Even so they weaker. And it's game. Why no Luchiban? Okay, mm. so elephants, 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 and indeed, for Indian war elephants, there were just more Sorok swordsmen yeah. to kill. And looking at Murat army, I'm not sure how meaningful Sorok swordsmen against Parsian army would be, like six of them. Huh. Well, I don't know what else he could go for. Well... A Gata Knight? I mean, Seleucids have uh, pretty decent shock cavalry of their own. Yes. Mm. But I guess pr probably their only weakness here would be ranged, uh, like mobile but, skirmishes. But I don't know how their that shock cav would deal with Eastern cataphracts. Haven't tested it, but 
might not well, do very well. Well, it's strong, it's just uh, more oh. expensive uh, because of our... Uh... Well, seeing that, it was an interesting game to watch uh, and uh, I will just keep it in mind for now because it's difficult for me to judge. So yeah. tell me guys what you think in comments, uh, take a look at uh, useful links in the description and see you later yep. in the second game. See you in game two. Hello my fellow Room 2 players, the Rip here with Russian Prince, hello. Hello to you sir. Hello, hello, well to viewers more than... Sirs. <laughs> Sirs. <laughs> and uh, girls and boys and whatever yeah. it is. Uh, however you call yourself. Anyway, we are in a second game of a final of Tournoi 1v1, by, which yeah. is hosted by it's Razas. Tournoi, I think. It's Tournois. pronounced, I don't know. Hmm. Perhaps. Well, French, definitely not my strong point. And we will see Murat meet uh, Luchiban. In the first game, Luchiban won using Parse against Seleucids. Uh, you can take a look at those that game if you didn't see it yet uh, in this same playlist. But for second game, first pick was Luchiban. He picked Essence and was counterpicked uh, by Murat using uh, Macedon. Now the biggest question we have with Prussian Prince, I guess, we just discussed it on a stream, is the fact that Murat took four citizen cavalry. Now, it's nifty mm. cheap unit, but can you make use of four of them? Will we, they really make up for yeah. pricing kills? That's questionable. Well, you can see that he has like some sort of plan. Like he used median cap the same way last game. You see how he deploys his cavalry, like his flanks. He puts the cheaper ones mm. in front and the more expensive in the back. So he pretty much wants to tie up enemy shock cavalry with his cheaper ones. Seems and he so. have two Aspis uh, companion cavalry coming from behind. Then for his main line, he has, I guess, what six, uh, five, six hoplites, uh, two mercenary Cretan archers, and uh, two archers. His general yeah. is companion cavalry. So he makes a bet on melee cavalry rather than shock cavalry, as we can see in a second game as well. So. What did Luchiban bring? For Luchiban, we have his general in a Thorax Hoplite, actually. Interesting. Behind those, we have Cretan Archers and an Arlite Hoplite. For his left flank, we have Mercenary Veteran Hoplites. Uh, interesting. Can you not put your general in it? I guess not. Then you have uh, Hoplites and Mercenary Veteran Hoplites. Two light peltists with also with uh, two cav units supporting one hippius and one citizen cav. On his right, he's got a hippius and one citizen cav as well. Then we have two mercenary veteran hoplites, one thorax hoplite, and two light peltists. So basically, pretty much same flanks, and the center is just a little bit weaker. Yeah, symmetrical armies, I should yeah. say, both armies. Yeah. And from the very beginning, they just go for it. They just engage. Yeah, but Let's see, hoplites meeting each other in the middle. Thorax hoplites will crush them, though, and the veteran yeah. veteran hoplites. I wonder if, in such an engagement, it's uh, meaningful to use hoplit uh, phalanx just before yeah. engagement. Well, yes, you're not getting charge bonus, but Lu maybe Luchiban you will hold is doing it on his left. And I think Luchiban's probably gonna yeah. like he's got the better infantry, so Mirad has to do something with his cavalry to win this. Yeah, well, he tries to sneak his companion cavalry through the middle. There is gap, but it will actually got into the general. It tries to go around. We can see the move order for it. So it tries to look. It sneaks. It yeah. sneaks just behind and goes for mercenary priest marches. Beautiful maneuver, uh, that's for sure. Uh, but it, it really looked like gap is closing, but now it just goes for archers. Look, the one in hoplite phalanx is winning against the one that's not in hoplite phalanx. On the left, you see that unit of Luchibans. Yes, and winning heavily, but again, we don't know how much uh, skirmishes did because here yeah. we see light peltists uh, shooting at uh, right flank. 
of the tune. Now he peels lances charging from behind. These hoplites should start wavering fairly soon, if I understand yeah. it correctly. It looks good for yeah, Murat, right. I think. Oh uh, no, Luchiban. Luchiban is Athens, right? Yeah. I think yeah, he's because got this. now he goes for skirmishes now with his Hippius lances. And in infantry engagement, he has just stronger uh, infantry. And yeah. we can see that additional citizen cavalry do not do anything particularly useful for Murat for now. Yeah. So yeah, he peels lances trained to battle actually. So he got stuck in these crit arches. Yes, commander. Orders but in yeah. Hoplit battle, total win for Luchiban. Uh, like Asin Hoplit is clearly stronger. He's losing cavalry fight to Aspis companion. Actually, let's see if these two Aspis companion will do any difference. Citizen cab let back charging. But didn't kill a single man. <laughs> well, their charge bonus is 28, yeah. which is like twice uh, less than any shock cavalry. Now we can see that Aspis cavalry, instead of going for melee uh, with infantry, tries to catch up with these uh, Hippius lances and finish them and to maybe save these archers. Yeah. But I. I think there is just too much infantry left yeah. for instance. The infantry was way better for Luchiban. <sighs> Hoplite and even no the one, <laughs> Yeah, even the one that wasn't bad actually won. Like, the yeah. simple Hoplites uh, won, uh, I guess, by support of this light yeah. Lotus. And uh, <laughs> it's actually quite difficult to cast from 2 just because there is not enough dynamic after Shogun 2 is just happening a bit slower I guess yeah way slower Cav is slower <laughs> makes a big difference yeah oh he's going for it he's going for it he's going for it he's going for it he's still going for it yeah something like that <laughs> uh, which in Shogun 2 will take you 2 seconds, uh, in Rome 2 can go for like 10-15 seconds. Yeah, it's it takes a while to catch up to, to infantry with Cav actually, especially if like you've got Cav that's tired, then it takes yep. a real long amount of time. Hmm. Well, in these two games, uh, it looks like Luchiban just have much more solid builds. Yeah, that's what I think too. In both games, both with uh, Parse and with Essence, he just and well, I would uh, let me rephrase myself. It seems that Murat puts himself in disadvantageous position just because he brings he has this idea of cheap uh, melee cavalry in a mix, and he brings maybe a bit too much of it. Sure, one citizen cavalry of his got 142 kills, probably on enemy skirmishes, but did it pay for four of them? No, definitely not. His, yeah. camp his general did quite well and mm. he completely lost Hoplitus battle. I he probably shouldn't have even taken it. I don't think that... Well, especially against Athens, I don't think it makes much sense to go for citizen cav. Yeah. Like what's it gonna well, do against the uh, considering place? considering the fact that Athens have decent skirmishes, you may take one or two just in case to hunt them down. Yeah. But, but more maybe mm, too much. Yes. Because they're not gonna do anything against the hoplites. They can't. Yeah. Well, that's our opinion. Anyway, if you have different one you can leave it in comments. Also check useful links in the description and see you guys in a game 3. Yep, see you in game 3. Hello, my fellow Room 2 players. The Rip here with slow intro and Russian print. Hello. Hello. Uh, and uh, we are here in a third game uh, of Finals of Tournoi, uh, Tournoi 1v1. Yeah, yeah. tournament uh, 1v1 Room 2 tournament hosted by Razas. And as you probably already know, it's uh, the finals played by Murat and Luchiban. This is the third game, Luchiban winning 2-0, uh, leading 2-0 so far. And uh, in this game, first pick was Murat. 
he picked uh, Pontus and was counterpicked by Egypt. Obviously, there is elephants. Uh, easy to predict a uh, unit on a field uh, for Egypt. Let's take a closer look at them. Looking at you, uh, looking at me. Uh, it's the yeah, smaller ones, does. though. <laughs> uh, yep. Well, still African war elephants. Yeah, but they're not armored, so not as dangerous. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Now, uh, for main force, on the right flank uh, of Luchiban we can see two citizen cavalry, on the left flank citizen cavalry and Ptolemaic cav, uh, supported by camel spearmen. Uh, no shooting uh, camels. Then for his uh, skirmishing component we have, let's see, Egyptian javelin men, four of them, one mercenary crit archers, only one, I wonder what's with it. Then there is two Gal uh, one Galatian royal guard on left flank near the gen for some reason. So left flank is stronger, but uh, in uh, terms of uh, infantry and uh, cavalry, but right flank have elephants. Yeah. Then we have Surya spears, Nubian spearmen, and a lot of Egyptian pikes on front, and the resource swordsmen. Okay, for Murad we have Pontic royal cav general. We have. Uh, see two mercenary city and horse archers then on his right Pontic royal cab in front with two noble blood cap supporting so he did change things around he wants to charge in with the shock cab first then two noble cab on his yeah. left and one Pontic royal cab uh, supporting as well oh he, he actually got his eastern slingers charged in the center by citizen cab yeah twice now the second one going in huh. Uh, well, Nurad definitely, like, in this game his yeah. micro already shows itself. Well, not even micro, but th look at his cavalry getting charged by elephants. This actually could be bad for elephants. Mm, but... I don't know. Well, there is no support and they cannot kill cavalry yeah. as fast. Look, they already stuck. So, in this green dig battle, they actually may be no cost ineffective. Luchiban's general is dying, though. So it's dead. It's gone off the field, but so is Murat's. It got destroyed yeah, so by javelins. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely. Hmm. I think it looks bad for Murat, right. though. Overall, I yeah. still think. Surya spears hmm. seem to be out of formational attack, so Luchiban uh, prepared this charge against cavalry. They seem to be attack uh, out of order. Elephant's you actually doing good against the Pontic Royal Cav, another Cav, so far. Hmm. But I guess it's not how he wanted to use them. Well, yeah, they're doing good and more importantly they're not losing anything, surprisingly. Yeah. Well... This yeah. game already looks a bit done. Yes. There is definitely this mercenary... Uh, Syrian horse archers, but I wonder how much damage they can do. There are Galatians on the field though. <laughs> Galatian real guards. They are scary. Still. Yeah. But they first need to catch these mercenary uh, Celtic warriors. So elephants will probably run amok fairly soon. As you wish. Oh. But now they're charging this noble blood cavalry. Horse archers got caught by Thorax words, yeah. And lost Total about micro. 15 men, horses with men, I suppose. <laughs> it almost feel like uh, feels like Murat is giving up. And look at this light uh, camel spearman just yeah. charging right and left. <laughs> Looks nice. And we have Murat calling the GG. Already. This is crushed. But Look mm. at Camel Spearman killing 341 men. Who said that elephants are OP? GLP <laughs> unit just right here for you. Well, <laughs> well, obviously they were charging mostly yeah. skirmishes, but... Uh, it's funny. <laughs> ridiculous, they still alive. <laughs> 24 men left. Oh man, and they just winded, they're not even exhausted after so man much <laughs> killing. Oh. Incredibly one-sided game, and uh, despite much looking one-sided, 3-0, in first two games it actually was 
not as one-sided. It didn't feel one-sided to me. It's the first game, at least. Like elephants could turn it any any direction, I believe. But yeah, uh, Luchiban simply not leaving any openings for Murat, yeah. and Murat definitely not bringing something that can use weaknesses of Luchiban army, and nothing that could exploit it. And not much to say here, just a ridiculous score for Camel Spearman, <laughs> which is quite <laughs> difficult for me to explain, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I need to watch again at this game. Actually, I would check uh, if... Uh, if uh, a replay is working on this particular replay. So, that's it, guys. Uh, Luchiban winning that 1v1 tournament. Check uh, brackets link in the description to see the whole bracket which he went through it was actually quite big saying yeah. that uh, I'm out of things to say so thank you guys for watching and see you later congratulations to Luchiban and if you enjoyed don't forget to comment rate and subscribe follow me on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus share the video subscribe to Zripped and I'll see you next time